In this demonstration, we're going to look at File Server Resource Manager. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to look at quota management. The purpose of quota management is to allow me to see exactly what files or data we have in use on our system and also to limit the size of files, folders, directories, etc. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to come to quota templates. We already have some templates in place. What we're going to do with these templates is we're going to create a new quota from the template. And what I want to do here is I want to create a quota on a path. So what we'll do is we'll just browse through to the location required. And that is going to be e colon lab files backslash mod 09 backslash data. Derive properties from this quota template at the 100 meg limit. Have a look at the summary and select create. If we now go to quarters, we now have a quarter in place. So what we'll do here is we'll just launch a PowerShell. And what we'll do here is we'll try to create a 130 meg file in that folder just to ensure that the quota does take effect. So coming to the right folder, so when they call on lab files mod 09 data, next thing we'll do here is we'll just try to create a 130 meg file. And to do that, we're going to use the fsutil file create new large file .txt 130 meg. So we'll just hit the enter key at this point here. And as we can see, based off the quota, there is not enough space on this disk. So the next thing we'll do here is we'll create a file screen. So we'll go back into fsrm. We'll come to our file screen management, expand this up, and we'll go for our file screen templates. So as we can see from this, we have various file screen templates already in place. We've got things like block image files, block executable files, block email files, block audio and video files, and monitor the executables as well. So what we're going to do here is we're actually just going to create one from the block image files, and we'll create a file screen from this template. Again, all we'll do is navigate through to the file path where we want to set up this screen. And then we'll select create. Next thing to do is just to try to create an image file in that folder. So what we're going to do is go to e colon, into lab files, into mod 09, and then into data. And then what we're going to do here is just try to create one of those files. So we'll just come to the home page. And then what we'll do here is we're just going to create a new item. So go for new item. And what we'll do here is go for bitmap image. And as you can see here, we need permission to perform this action. So straight away, destination folder, access is denied. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll select cancel. And what we'll do is we'll just go back to our file server resource manager. Next thing we'll have a look at here is just generating a storage report. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to storage reports management. And what we're going to do is we're just going to generate some reports now. That brings us into wizard. And what we want to do here is we just want to have a look at large files. Then if we just look at edit parameters, we can see that in this case here, that's going to be 5000 meg. So, or 5.000 meg to be precise. So what we'll do here is we'll select cancel. Then what we'll do is we'll specify where we want to run this report. Then what we'll do is we'll just select add. Within add here, all we're going to do is come down to our E drive. And then what we'll do here is we'll select OK. And then we'll select OK. So as we can see, we need to choose one of the following. So what we're going to do at this point here, we can either generate reports in the background, so select this option to view saved or email reports later, or we can wait for the reports to be generated and then display them. So we'll select OK at this point here. Now what we'll do is we'll just double click on the HTML file. And as we can see here, we've got one file. So all we'll do is we'll maximize this up a little bit. And if we scroll this down, what we can see here, we can get some information relating to the files. So there's the file name. There's information relating to the file. We've got the size by file group, nice little pie chart. Another nice little pie chart. So as you can see, we can get some information out of our reports. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.